Wow, Babangida slumps and dies in Bayeru University, Kano. Yeah, <laughs> this should sound as a breaking news, my dear. But then, which of the Babangida are we talking about here? Is it the very Ibrahim Babangida or is there, is there any other Babangida? Hmm. Okay, let's quickly look at the content. Bayero University Kano BUK has been thrown into mourning following the death of a final year student of the school identified as Babangida Ahmed, who passed away on Friday morning, January 28, 2022. It was gathered that Babangida collapsed in his hostel in the early hours of Friday and was rushed to the university clinic where he was confirmed dead. Confirming his death, the university spokesperson Bala Abdullahi in a statement said the university management has contacted his parents about the incident and would be taken to his hometown for burial according to Islamic rites. Prior to the death, the deceased has been visiting Amino Kano Teaching Hospital, AKTH, to see doctors on certain undisclosed ailments. According to hospital records, he had visited AKTH about seven times within the last one year, with his last visit on the 10th of January 2022. His next appointment at the AKTH was on February 7, 2022. Boom! Nigerians. I know the moment you saw the topic, uh, you got overwhelmed and was like, <laughs> which Babangida are we talking about? Well, to God be the glory, the Babangida we are talking about here is now, is uh, happened to be a student anyway. Uh, uh, so this, I would say, has been a, a, a routine. A routine and something that occur mostly in the university. I don't know. Um, I made one suggestion one certain time concerning students and ways of living our standard of living in the university you know in the university we have students who in one way or the other are privileged are privileged to be comfortable while we have some in one way or the other who are not privileged do you understand but then um these students, are they living equal life? Are they living equal life? No, they are not living equal life. Even if you are not privileged to be living comfortable, you can, you can still live a better and normal life and still uh, be happy. And still be happy. It is very important. You see, health. That's why you say health is wealth. Health is wealth. Proper checking of oneself is something that one cannot do away with. It is very important. What we eat, what we drink, and all of that should be taken into cognizance. See, in the university, 80% of our students are engaged in hard drugs. Alcohol. And these things we're talking about are very, very dangerous to their health. It destroys them. So I wonder, I wonder what then is, what kind of, of, uh, uh, of life are they actually expecting after graduation from school? I used to tell students that are you thinking about life after school? Because it's not all about 
life in school, but life after school because you soon you soon leave school. So when you leave school, what then is going to be your next life? You understand? All these things are what a student ought to be put into cognizance. Well, so painful that Babangida have to lose lose his life. But then I will tell you that his life, whatever it is that must have taken his life, because the information said he slumped and died. Slumming can be the, the death for, from uh, 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 if one slumps and dies, it can come from spiritual, it can come either due to uh, bad health. Do you understand? Okay, a lot of things can lobby in to cause the death of uh, of, 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 of of someone that slumps. Do you understand? But uh, I would say that generally it is important. It is very important to uh, to give one's uh, life a proper check-in. Okay, so my dear listeners, um, I don't know uh, what you feel or think concerning the the passing out of this uh, Babangida, though it's not the Ibrahim Babangida that we, that we know. You understand, but this happens to be a student. So, what's your advice to the to the youth out there? You know, I, what do you think the youth need to do in order to live a normal life? Because I believe anybody taking drugs is not living a normal life. Do you understand? It's not living a normal life. Okay. So let me start by hearing from you from the from the outside to know what your take. And your opinion on this very uh, on, on on this very news, maybe don't forget to leave down below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.